All right, y'all. So it's been a kind of a hot minute since I've made a video about this icon generator AI SaaS product that I've been working on. Um, I haven't really worked on this product in like a while. I'm kind of burned out on it and like it's making money. People are buying icons, but I wanted to kind of share with you how much does this cost to run, right? What are my profit margins? How much is this making me? It's been up for a couple of months now. Um, so far we have... 12,583 users. That, that means basically users who have created an account using Google, and then they have created 26,477 icons. So let's just kind of explore, like what exactly does that mean? How much traffic is that? I'm just gonna go ahead and just start talking about the numbers because I think that's really what people are interested in. So how much does it cost to run this site? All right, so if we go to my AWS cost management and go to the homepage, basically this thing is costing me maybe a dollar twenty-two a month. Okay, it's forecasted for a dollar fifty-two a month, but that's how much it costs to have my next application deploy to Amazon using the SST framework, and that also includes like hosting my Lambda functions. It also includes hosting my S3 bucket. I think I have about ten gigabytes worth of icons that are stored on S3. So overall, it's super cheap. I think I'm getting charged maybe five cents a day. And if I were to actually explore, like, where are the majority of costs coming from? I think they're all coming from S3. Let me go back to home real quick. And all of my occurring charges are happening from S3. I have about 41 gigabytes a month usage of storage. So 41 gigabytes of icons that users have stored. And these are the amount of requests that are hitting the S3 bucket to kind of fetch those. I could probably do more optimization for, like, caching and stuff like that. But overall, it's like, I don't have to put much effort at all into the site. Okay, so this is one reason I really like Amazon. Like, if you do it correctly, you literally don't have to pay anything for your service, especially since a lot of the Lambda executions are under a free tier, so you don't have to pay for, like, Lambdas. Okay, so now let's go over to Stripe, okay? So I have an Icon Generator AI um, account, which basically is keeping track of all of the income I'm getting from this. And if I were to kind of zoom out, for the entire month. Um, so yeah, I guess the month of June, that's fine. My gross volume is 844. And then after Stripe, you know, takes out all of their, their cut, I get about 740. So 740 has been my, my revenue. Now let's talk about profit because you just saw it costs about $1.50 a month to host on Amazon. But how much out of the 740 of revenue I'm getting back do I have to pay back to OpenAI? So if I go back to OpenAI, you'll see that in the month of June, uh, we've currently used $225 from the OpenAI API key. So out of that seven, whatever, um, let's go here, 225, I mean, that's like what, 520 or something like that? That's about um, a rough estimate. I probably got that wrong, but that's how much profit I've made from this icon generator site. That's pretty good. I mean, I literally do not have to log in. I literally don't go to Amazon. I don't do anything with this. I just let it sit here and people are slowly buying credits still and generating icons. So it's pretty cool. Uh, there's some stuff I want to kind of figure out about the icons because some of these icons just kind of suck. Like, look at this one. It's, it's not that great. Um, some of them look nice. It just really depends on like how, you know, how experienced you are with crafting your prompts. But overall, that's all I want to share with you all is like how much does it cost in terms of operation costs for my icon generator AI application? Uh, how much does it go to Amazon? How much does it go to OpenAI? Again, the domain costs like $12 a year, which is something I didn't really incorporate into the, what I just broke down for you all. So one thing I really like about Amazon is that once you deploy your stuff to Amazon, you basically have logs that can live up to like years or months or whatever you want. So in our case, I've put specific log statements when users do something in my application. For example, when they generate icons, I can kind of come into log insights and I can run this query to figure out how many people are generating icons over a five minute period over the past week. So if I run this query, I start getting a nice visualization to figure out on like what days is this application most popular? How many people in every five minute bin period are they generating icons? So right here, for some reason, this was a really popular time. I don't know why. Maybe I posted something on social media. There's another spike. Or maybe someone bought a bunch of credits and just kind of like decided to generate a bunch of icons. So I've been using this to kind of just get more insight as to my, you know, who's using my product. 
And then also different features like making variants. This is like a feature I have on my application where once you have an icon that's already generated, you can go and like tell it to make another variant. As you can tell over the past seven days, we've had a 111 people who have tried to create variants. So it's a feature that's used, but it's not used too often. And I don't know if I'm even summing this up correctly because I'm bending these up by five minutes. Um, I didn't really put too much insight into like thinking about this. What about the removing the background? How many people actually try to remove background from icons? Um, in the past seven days, we got about 74 records. So again, it's another feature that I have, but like not that many people are using it. Deleting accounts. How many people are deleting accounts? Okay, so like 86 people. Buying credits, bin, generate icons, generate icons. What is this one? Yeah, so I mean, what I'm showing you right now is not really related to like my, how much I pay in operational costs for this product. But I did want to kind of share with you, like this is pretty cool. If you ever wanted to get more like insight as to like what features are useful, technically I could probably remove the background removal thing and also the variance and like people would still use my app. It doesn't seem like these are used that much in the amount of code I needed to add to allow people to remove backgrounds from their icons was actually quite significant. So sometimes when you're building a product, you have to weigh out the pros and the cons. Like if no one's using this feature you just added and it makes your code a lot more complex, you kind of weigh it out and be like, well, I'm going to remove that because if only 1% of my users use it, what's the point, right? What, how does it actually benefit me as a business? Um, yeah, hopefully uh, that's about all. If I forgot to mention anything, leave a comment and I'll try to pay some more information about operational costs and stuff like that. But that's about it. So uh, other than that, have a good day. Happy coding. Feel free to join my Discord channel. The link is in the description below if you ever want to talk to me directly or find a place to hang out with some other developers. Later.